Hey guys, welcome to Skilllink. In one of our previous video, we talked about heat and work transfer. We used multiple examples to understand their concepts. Did you guys wonder if there are different forms of work as well? Well, the answer is yes. There are basically three forms of work that are done at the system boundary, namely displacement work, shaft work, and flow work. So without any further ado, let's get into them. Let's start with displacement work, which is also known as PDV work. To understand it, we will use an example of a piston cylinder arrangement. Let's consider a fluid inside a cylinder. If the fluid has higher pressure than that of the surroundings, the piston will experience a force. This will result in an upward motion of the piston, as you can see in the animation. Here, force acting on the piston is given by the product of pressure and area. Therefore, the work done would be a force multiplied by the displacement. Here force is pressure times area and displacement is dx. But we know that multiplying an area with displacement gives the volume. Hence area into dx equals change in volume that is dv. Hence we obtain the formula of work done. This work is known as displacement work. It's because this type of work is directly associated with the displacement. The total work done during a process can be determined by the summation of all intermediate work from the initial state to the final state. Now we will talk about shaft work. In simple terms, shaft work is defined as the work done to rotate a shaft that is connected to a system. Shaft work can be done by the system on the shaft or vice versa. The system boundary does not get deformed due to shaft work. We will try to understand shaft work with the help of an example. Let's consider a closed reservoir filled with water. A mechanical stirrer is placed into the reservoir. Now, when the stirrer is activated, it rotates along its axis and performs work on the system, that is, the water inside the reservoir. In this case, the work done is negative as the work is done on the system. An example of positive work done would be a turbine in a dam. Water at high speed strikes against the turbine, which causes it to rotate along its axis, producing shaft work. The work is done by the system and hence the work done is positive. Speaking of turbines, shaft work is not the only form of work associated with a turbine. Here a third form of work comes in, that is, flow work. When work is done to cause a fluid to flow in and out of a system, it is called flow work. In simpler terms, the work required for a fluid to flow between two points is known as flow work. It must be noted that flow work can be done only in open systems, as the fluid continues flowing in and out of the system. Well, that concludes our session for today. We talked about displacement work, shaft work, and flow work. We'll be back with more content soon. This is Skill Link, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.